All right, what's up YouTube? Bringing an updated video. I got my car back. I am so excited. I'm I'm so excited. I got, like I got my car back. I've been like y'all know. Like what was the date on that last video? Like June third. I've been without my car since June third, and it's it, it's like what June twenty fourth, twenty fifth now, something like that. So like basically two and a half weeks. So going on three weeks without the car. Um, for all those errors that I was getting in the last video and if you don't know what I'm talking about like I'll, I'll put it or, or I'll also I'll put the errors on the screen but like look you know this video is for anybody who has a model 3 or a model Y and you're getting the same errors that I was getting and again like those those screenshots were just on the screen with those errors so you could see what I'm talking about I'll also put them in the description that way if anybody searches for those errors like hey what do I do in the case of this error on YouTube um, it should pull my video up so it can hopefully help some people identify what the problem is. Um, but for me, those errors were all linked to a wheel speed sensor. And I'll put up uh, on the screen for about four seconds so you can read it or you can pause the video and read it. What Tesla service said the uh, wheel speed sensor was. And it was covered under warranty despite um, the car having um, the lift kit on it, as you can see. Um, they did warranty cover it. At first, they did try and blame the, um, the errors on the lift kit, but after doing their investigation, they did realize that it was one of the wheel speed sensors. And I'll, um, I'll show you here what it is. So, so right right there i don't know if y'all could see that y'all see that black wire that's the wheel speed sensor and it runs all the way up and it runs on this collar here and down behind the wheel so and that blue thing there that's part of the lift kit right it just mounts on top of the springs and that's how it lifts the car it's very simple so there's no way that could have caused a problem with that wire like it doesn't even affect the distance on the wire like you know it's totally separate so, and like, as y'all can see, like that wire, like if it'll focus is, um, you know, it, it's a brand new, um, brand new wire, like everything's new on it. So, but like, if y'all are getting those errors that again are in the description on the screen, it very well could be that little sensor. And the fact of the matter is with it being a Tesla, if one sensor goes out, um, you know, the whole car pretty much breaks, like... I mean, not really, but kind of, because like y'all saw in the last video um, before this one, like all the stuff that broke with mine. So anyway, hopefully this video is helpful to some people and, you know, maybe have to, like if you bring your car to Tesla service, like let them know, hey, could you check my wheel speed sensors? Because the error may be related to that, which is exactly what I told my service team. And when they did, they found out that the error was related to the wheel speed sensor. So any questions, pop it in the comments. I always respond to comments when I see them. Um, I get those notifications straight on my phone. So if you do have questions or wanna know um, anything about how the experience went um, with Tesla service, other than the fact that I had to wait three weeks. And let me preface this. The reason I had to wait three weeks to get the car back is not because that's how long it took them to fix the sensor. It's because they were booked um, all the way until July 14th with other cars and they squeezed me in. So that's why it took three weeks is getting the staffing um, available uh, from doing other Teslas and other jobs to be able to have the time to look at my car is why it took so long. It wasn't because that sensor took that long. Also, Tesla did provide me with a, a loaner and that was that black standard range plus y'all saw in the last video. So I just wanted to make sure that was in here, that Tesla did take care of me and take care of the whole situation. And I ended up coming out of this not having to pay anything because of a basic vehicle warranty. And also the lift kit did not void the warranty because the lift kit didn't cause the failure. The sensor just failed. So anyway, hope it was helpful.